Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we are here with our week four match against Randy, aka Randy HLD, aka HLD Production. I never know what to go with. And yeah, we've been friends for a while now, hashtag Hicklehawk, but we've never actually gotten to battle each other. And now here we are, just a random week four match, finally getting the chance to take each other on. And he's a fantastic battler on his own. You should check him out. He was there for season one with an incredible record. Just the way the schedule worked out, I never got to actually battle him, which was incredibly uh, disappointing. But we are here now, and like I said, he's a fantastic battler i just want to see how well we match up let's see what he brought he'll be bringing the stack attacker the thunderous mew confagrigus uh alolan nine tails and hariyama okay so right off the bat i was a bit more prepared for um some different threats the mew is going to be the biggest problem i think definitely did not expect the confagrigus definitely did not expect the confagrigus uh however I think we can work with this. This is a choice specs um, guard of war, and I kind of want to lead with it because I know I brought it for. Oh, I brought it for Hariyama, so I probably shouldn't do that. No, I definitely shouldn't do that. Okay. What should I lead with here? What should I lead with here? Part of me wants to lead with Swampert, but Swampert could end up being kind of important here. I could definitely see. Randy leading with the Alola Ninetales. Honestly, this just kind of makes me want to lead with the Celesteela here. This kind of just means... I'm going to do it. I'm going to lead Celesteela. I'm going to just let Celesteela do what it can do. I feel like Celesteela can come in, put a dent in the team relatively early on, and then... And then the rest of our team's a bit more specialized for taking on his, and I think we can go on from there. And I'd be and I'd be very surprised if he leads with the Thunderous. So it probably won't get threatened right off the bat, but who knows? Who in the world knows? Dude, this is exciting. Okay. Go Rangers. I wanna say that's a step. No, it's not. Okay, it's the Mew. This is probably okay here. And now this is where I deeply regret not having um, the Toxic on my Celesteela. And I can't really threaten this thing at all. Of course, Mew is going to be the huge problem here. I kind of want to go... No. I was going to say I kind of want to go straight into the um, Gardevoir, but I don't want to do that. I might just want to go into the Ambipom here. Take, just take the Thunderbolt. I know the Thunderbolt's coming, right? Would it be worth to go into the... Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go into um, Pretty much the designated mon for this, the Drapion. It, it's Drapion's main reason for being here. I probably should have led Drapion, in all fairness. As he goes for the Willow, so he definitely saw that coming. Definitely saw that coming, but... I don't think I mind too much. Because at this point, I can try to start knocking things off, and whatever he brings in here... I would be very happy with knocking it off, so... It's gonna be fine in the end. Goes for the U-turn. He knows I had no reason to switch there, I don't think so. I think he's also just gauging how defensively this is built. I'm, if I remember correctly, this is max defense. Um, probably Impish, I feel like. Might be Adamant. But you know, it's been days since I built this team and that is far too long for me to remember everything that's on this team. But... I feel good about this matchup so far. I would have to guess... I feel like Thunderous is a good play. He knows how much I like my Assault Vested uh, Drapions, though. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, yeah there's a Thunderous play. Uh, gets the knockoff off the Life Orb, okay. Okay. So Black Sludge is going to get counteracted by the, by the uh, burn. But that's still a decent amount of damage for being burnt here. 
I really kind of just want to go for Poison Jab, but I also really need this to kind of knock off the... Hmm. I don't know, dealing damage to this would be really important. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, and it's going to be a lot less helpful against a Sack Attack later, anyway. Um, yeah, we take that nowhere near as well as I thought we would, but you know what, it is what it is. We can give this up to deal a crit, but to deal that much damage and the poison, that puts it well within Amplicom range. I'm pretty positive. I mean, it has to, right? Especially after the poison, yeah, that puts it well within Amplicom range. And that puts it well within Amplicom range. And it actually it puts it well within knockoff range, just in case you want to switch out again. Yeah, you're gonna go back in. You're gonna go into the sack attacker, right? And I'm gonna go for the. Uh, I'm gonna go for the knockoff here to see we can scout out for the Z crystal. And I'd be surprised if he does have the Z crystal, but I guess we can see. And I can taunt the sack attacker. Now that now that it's come in. Okay, it, it, does, it is packing the Z-Crystal, so that's fantastic to know. Now, I cannot let the Trick Room go up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna click Taunt here. Uh, I should show off the, the set. I think I've revealed my entire set here already, but this is my entire set, right? And this is a, he's, he thinks, he probably thinks I'm going to, oh, with the withdrawal. Ooh, he's testing me for the, for the Earthquake. He probably doesn't want to take that much damage through Earthquake anyway, but yeah, he definitely wanted to test out what this Dreveon had. But yeah, there's a taunt. There's a taunt. I would love, I, I cannot wait to see his side. I would love to see if he expected the taunt or if he just didn't want me to earth earthquake. But either way, I feel like, ah, uh, I don't know. You'd be leaving it at half health, but it can tear through my team if, if, uh, if I gave him that free beast boost. I don't know, man. Either way, you're, you're gonna take me out with U-turn. It's fine. I'm just gonna knock off here. Um, I'll be able to see whatever he switches into. His entire team's... Ugh, I shouldn't say that. At, at least the Thunderous has been neutralized quite a bit. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. He has revealed... some new information. Pretty much just the U-turn and the Will-O-Wisp, but that would pretty much signal to me how limited the rest of his set is. I, I mean, at this point, I don't even know if he has a Thunderbolt on it or not. Oh man, I, I really, okay, I should check out some calcs there because I really kind of want to just go into this um, Choice Specs Guard of War here. Oh, I have no idea how to spell Kofagrigus, but I'm gonna I'm give that the old try there. Kofagrigus, right? And I'm gonna put in a Gardevoir here. Without any investment from either of us. A Moonblast. Does about 50%. Now if I give you, first of all, I'll give you max HP. I'll give me max special attack. Modest. And then choice specs. Oh, that's doing quite a bit. I don't know. Even if you're self vested, it, it, it would it would do about fifty percent. Even if you're self vested, it would do about fifty percent. And yeah, I think that's the play I have to make because everything else is. I if 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 I were to take damage from anything, I'd prefer it to be. I'd prefer this to take a little bit of damage more than anything else. Useless trace, but it's fine. Now, okay, I could... Mm, no, that wouldn't work. I was going to say, I, I could trick here. But... There's the moon blast. We are specs, again. Oh, yeah. that's th That has max... Max uh, special attack... Or max HP and no special defensive investment. And at this point, I think I'm okay because... I think I'm okay because... He would want to go into the... Stack Attacker here. I completely forgot what that thing was called. He would want to go into the Stack Attacker here, right? But... I don't see... 
I feel like the Cell Sela would wall it here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hard switch out of the Cell Sela, expecting the um stack attack to, to try and take a Moonblast. No, just go straighter for the Shadow Ball. That's interesting. That's very interesting. So Kafagrigus has pretty much zero speed. It has base 30 speed. We have to take this thing out no matter what. What would be the switch in here? What's the switch in on Randy's team now? I mean, probably the Thunderous, but the Thunderous gets threatened. Nine Tails, I guess, could be a play. I'm gonna. I think I'll air slash here. Yeah, I think. I think especially because of the poison. Um. The Air Slash is fairly safe, goes for the Will-O-Wisps. Yeah, he's trying to cripple any possibility of Earthquaking, of me Earthquaking. But this is kind of the exact reason why I have a, a, um, especially offensive Swampert. That's not gonna help much though. I think, I think Swampert is still the answer Generally, as long as I can take care of some other threats. Obviously, I wanted the Swampert to take care of the camera up a little bit, but there is no uh, camera up on his team this time. If he wants to take this opportunity to go into Stack Attacka, that'd be fine. No, it goes into Mew. So that definitely means a Thunderbolt's coming. But also, I have to underspeed here, right? Yeah, there's no chance I don't underspeed. So, we could play for those Air Slash flinches on this, in, in this matchup. I don't even remember what hidden power this is. It has ice, right? But why would I go for ice? What did he have in the scene that I would go for? I guess Thunderous? I guess Thunderous is the reason I did that? I honestly don't remember. I honestly I don't remember. Either way, I'm just gonna click Air Slash here. Although now Hidden Power Ice is seeming like a bad idea, we do get the flinch. So can Cell Sela come through on this Mew? That would be pretty much the best situation for me now. Because, uh... He, he would actually have helped me out with his own trick room. As the Twisted Dimensions can return to normal, of course. Because of course they do. Um, this is still... I mean, I'll still air slash whatever comes in. It's totally fine. Goes for the U-turn. Quad resisted. So it does a clean five. Does a clean five. Does a stack attack come in. I think he expected me to switch out. He, want, he wanted to get that initiative on me, on whatever I switched into. And he also wanted to see what I would uh, try to take on a Mew with, I think. I'm pretty positive. Let's see. Huh. Does he take the opportunity? No, he just goes in the Confagrigus. Just gives up the Confagrigus, because I think this takes him out. This shit, I would hope so. Please. Okay. Probably a chance to get to go into Thunderous. Probably a free opportunity to go into Thunderous. But no, we're gonna see through that. We're we're gonna hold our ground on this Thunderous. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna hold our ground on this Thunderous. And we're gonna see. Let's see if this is an HP Ice. I'm gonna click fight, and if it's super effective, then we'll know. Hey, look at that, it is. Okay. We, we figured it out, friends. Um, I think we hold. I think we hold firm because you know what? I feel like you would have like HP grass or something like that. I mean the the um the swamper play is way too obvious. I don't think he would go for that obvious a play. He he wouldn't let me get away with that. He wouldn't let me get away with that. I'm gonna hidden power here. 
Come on. No way you go for the Thunderbolt. Wow. I really thought he was going to... Mm. I guess it was pretty low risk because even if you do bring the bring in the Swampert, that even if I do bring in the Swampert, then he could do something. He could enter that next turn. But man, I really did not expect him to just like stay in and go for that. Either way, slowly wearing down his team. Uh, our team is getting worn down as well. But taking a couple KOs, still no real clue as to how to take out that Mew. Still would really like to, um... <sighs> that Harry is gonna be a problem. I need Gardevoir for the Hariyama. Hmm. The Kieran Black is also gonna have its opportunities once the... once this goes down. But I don't know what you have for me. And I mean, like, I get it, like, like, Earthquake, at, like, a burned Earthquake isn't gonna do, like, a whole ton, but it's gonna do something. And then I have other mons. Okay, here's the Earthquake. Let's just see how much this does. I almost packed the Superpower just for this thing, but it really wasn't worth it. Okay, it does about a third. As you set up the Trick Room. But I still don't, I still think I get another hit in, though, right? I still feel like this lets me get another hit in. Unless you can one-shot me from here, but can you? I want well, stab Continental Crush just like kind of wrecks me, I guess. Do I have a switch in that could burn the Z move? I don't really have a Mon that can burn the Z move. I guess I don't really care that much. I guess I don't really care that much. I probably should have packed protect. I should have definitely packed protect more. To uh, burn out Trick Room turns. Let's see. What options do I have here? This doesn't really deal with anything other than the. Yeah, I, I, I can definitely let this thing go down here. I would love for you to not go over a Z move, and I feel like I can. Oh, you just withdraw. Okay, interesting, interesting. Interesting. In comes the Hariyama. You definitely underspeed me, but... I feel like you can't take me out from here. Do, do you get Thunder Punch? Hariyama probably gets Thunder Punch, right? Hariyama almost definitely... I feel like I've never seen a Hariyama run Thunder Punch. It's the only reason I'm asking. Ariyama. Yeah, definitely gets, like, super gets Thunder Punch. Is there any switch that's worth making here? Okay, also, how many, how many, uh, turns of Trick Room are left? How many turns? Three turns. That's a lot. All right, hopefully you don't... It goes for the close combat. Dude, I feel like, come on. Nope, all right, we cannot take that at all. Okay. Okay, you know what? Fair. Fair. So what does that let me do? Oh, it, oh, it was burned. I did not see the burn. I completely missed that. Now, I feel like this is a decent opportunity for... for um, this thing to get in some damage here, at minus one in particular. But at the same time, you wouldn't let me do that much damage to this thing. I feel like if anything, you would go into... There's a very strong chance that you go into um, a stack attack of predicting this. And if you do, I have the low kick available to me. Yeah, I'm gonna low kick here. This is this is gonna determine the game. This is gonna determine the game. Oh my god, why would you stay in? <sighs> that sucks. Why do you stay in? 
I mean, I'm curious to see how much an Ample Pump Fake Out would have done. But I feel like that genuinely will determine the game. That bad play will genuinely determine the game. Let's see. Life Orb. Against a Hariyama. Let's see. What move was I was I doing? Fake out. At minus one. Yeah, that does well over half. That does well over half. Okay, I guess the answer here is to go into Swampert. But yeah, wow, okay. I guess... That was a really bad play. That was a really bad play on my part. And also, it was also really surprising because I did have that Gardevoir switching available to me. But at the same time, I don't even know what those couch are like because a Hariyama under guts, who knows? Who knows what that does? I'm just gonna click Scald. I'm just gonna click Scald. You're gonna do so much damage. Okay, you withdraw. In comes the Ninetales. You have the Freeze Dry. You're super telegraphing the Freeze Dry here. And I guess that's fine. No burn as the hail continues. I do under speed for now, but that's not going to help me out at all. Um, I feel like the play is to go into is to go into Kiram here because this is really the only opportunity that Kiram's going to get all game long. I have to plug in this DS. Okay. Okay. We should be plugged in. We should be good. Goes for the freeze dry. It's not doing a whole lot. We're still... Please tell me I didn't miscount and we actually have a... Okay. We still have a turn of trick room left, I believe. No, we don't. Okay. That was bad. That was real bad. I genuinely thought we had a uh, turn of trick room left. I'm going to flash get in here. We, we probably take a moon blast. We're going to have to either way. That was not good. But we take it. We should be fine as the special attack drop. Okay. That's fine. That's totally fine. Um, I'm going to assume that... Actually, Mew gets a free switch in here, doesn't it? Yeah, Mew Super gets a free switch in here. Uh, can probably just Moonblast me. But also, the Mew's probably a slow one, so, he, so he's probably afraid of underspeeding, maybe? But also... I assume he knows that stack attack is a bad idea. Getting free damage off on the Hariyama would also be not great. So, I get, so that just leaves him with Mew at this point, I believe. I believe that just leaves him with Mew. Man, that low kick play. I really wanted that low kick play to, co to come through for me. And also, just not switching in uh, Swampert on that Thunderous play. Hmm. You know what? I'm go I'm gonna make a slightly aggressive play. I'm gonna make a slightly aggressive play. He could go for the Trick Room right now, but I don't think this set has room for Trick Room, right? Because he just went for Will O Wisp U-turn. Trick Room would leave him with one offensive move, well, other than U-turn, but you know what I mean. So actually, probably doesn't even have the Moon Blast. Ice Beam, okay, okay. I'm not sure what the Ice Beam's for. But either way, um, it's probably a slow Mew. It's probably a slow Mew. I 
actually, he's about to use her in here. I can go for the Specs Healing Wish. Actually, how much does a Specs Gardevoir do to a stack attack on? Moonblast. Man, realistically, I it probably does like 20%. Stack attacka. Oh. Oh, that that might be a viable two shot here. Even if it's not, it seems worth. I'm gonna go for the moonblast here. Goes for another ice beam. We win this 1v1 though. I feel like we win this 1v1. Ooh! Ooh, that was a spicy one-shot. That was a pretty spicy one-shot. Okay. So, Gardevoir... You bring in Sack Attacka. Gardevoir hits a Sack Attacka. For a decent chunk of damage. You go for the Trick Room, I go into Swampert. And then I think I just lose from there. Well, okay. He would have to take out the Swampert by a lot. Yeah, there's the Trick Room. There's the Trick Room. So we have four turns of Trick Room, right? How do we manage these turns? How do we manage these turns where I would win? I could give up the Kiram now. I could give up the Kiram now. If I do that, then that's turn one. Then I go into Swampert and attack. Take out this thing. Then the Hiriyama comes in. That would be turn three. Swampert gets taken out, and then I lose because there's one turn of Trick Room left, and Gardevoir can't handle it. Uh... Okay, I bring in Swampert, take a hit, right? Then I switch in... Kiram. Then I switch in Kiram. No. I still think the play is to give up Kiram here, or is it? No, it's not. What is the play, though? What is the play, though? I feel like the play isn't just the same with... Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna attack into this thing. Goes for the gyro wall. Gets a free beast boost, doesn't really matter too much, it's fine. I think I'm kind of trapped here, though. I think I'm kind of trapped here, though. Because now Swampert can take this thing out, but it's going to come at a pretty sizable cost. Because the Continental Crush is going to come through. Unless I switch in a Kiram beating out the Continental Crush. Swampert comes back in, then Swampert has to 1v1 the Hariyama. But it's still going to take some damage from the Stone Edge coming in. How do I manage that? Uh, Alright, I guess we have to see how much how much Swampert takes from a Stack Attacka. Let's see how much Swampert takes from a Continental Crush here. And nowhere max HP. Let's see, Stone Edge... Z Stone Edge... Oh! We take hits pretty well here in the situation, but the Hariyama's gonna come in and destroy Swampert either way, under Guts in, in particular. We have three turns left to Trick Room. I don't think we can come out of this one, but I'm gonna think it through. If, yeah, I'm just gonna go for a Scald here. I go for a Scald now. In comes the Hariyama. 
Yeah, I think going for the skull now is the best play. All right, let's yeah, let's go for it. We're we're taking a Continental Crush, but I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world. It should do I think about fifty percent ish. If if this looks right to me, which I guess it does. I don't particularly remember my defensive investments though, and I've, in all honesty, I should uh, invested more into defense here for this matchup. But I think this does about fifty percent. Yikes, okay, it does a little bit more. Which is pretty not great. But now here, I can switch in Kiram, let the Kiram get taken out. No, that doesn't work. He has enough turns of Trick Room left to be able to... To be able to outspeed my the rest of my team. There are two turns of Trick Room left, right? <sighs> yeah, the Sariyama just super won in the game. Okay. I'll, I'll go for the Scald, but... Oh, goes for the bulk up. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Because now... That could have been a mistake. I don't understand that play, because now... I can give up my Kiram. Now I can give up my Kiram on the final turn of Trick Room. And I think another Skull does it here. Especially after the minus one from Close Combat. Especially after the minus one from close combat. I think that was a choke. I don't know. I mean, I could be missing something. I could 100% be missing something. But I think... I think a Swampert Scald wins me this match. I think a Swampert Scald wins me this match. There's the Scald. And we take the win! Oh my god! This is insane, alright. Randy, uh, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but I'm, I believe Randy is undefeated right now, and... Uh, us being able to take this 1-0 win off of Randy, uh, means a whole lot right now. And it sets a tone a whole lot for the rest of the season. And I'm super, super excited for the rest of the season. I don't know how in the world we did it. I don't... All he had to do was not bulk up and just go for the close combat. And Randy wins the match. But somehow we won. Somehow we won. But yeah, like I said, I'm still I'm still a bit in shock. There's not really much uh, else to say. So once again, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. Thank you to Randy so much for the battle. And with that, we'll be once again out.